guys? It's your girl, Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what are you chewing today? Today we have some ribs. In this pot, we have some, I have some elbow macaroni. It's about half of a 16 ounce box, so it's about eight ounces of pasta. It's just about to be done. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Only thing in here are the, uh, the elbow noodles and a little bit of salt. And uh, since we're less than a minute in, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And I'm actually going to let it sit in that water for a while because I like it to soak up and get a little big. So then it'll be able to, to absorb some more of the cheese sauce. And what I have here is a rack of ribs. Rack of rib, rack of, rack of rib. Mouth is <laughs> so special. Rack of Y'all know I got my garlic going here. That was for my pasta, it's done. And I have some seasoning salt. I'm not gonna use any salt on this. And I'm sure y'all see that nice little puddle. I'm sorry, that's my oven, it's ready for the ribs now. And y'all see that nice little puddle of sauce underneath? I've already seasoned and Put some good love on the bottom part of these ribs. And you know the shape of the bobble. This is a steak sauce. You know what kind of steak sauce it is. Get the name brand, get the off brand, get whatever brand you like to have. This is what I like to put on my oven baked ribs. <clears throat> and it gets kind of messy, which is fine because it tastes good. I think I used it all, y'all. That's all right. What we're going to do is just take it and rub it all over. Just give it some love. Give it some love like that, Papa. Lord have mercy. You give me some A1 steak sauce, boy, you might want to watch out. You go back to the stove. <laughs> and a lot, a lot of times I like to let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour at room temperature, especially if I'm pulling it fresh out of the refrigerator. But this one is not fresh out of the refrigerator. And it's real late. And we gotta eat sometime today. So, yes, I'm touching raw meat. So you have to wash your hands. I know that gets cut out of a lot of my videos. But anytime I touch any raw meat, you best believe I wash my hands. Because if anybody's gonna get sick off of it in this house, it's gonna be me. My stomach don't like nothing. Nothing. So I made sure I wash and clean my hands every time I touch uncooked meat. Wash your hands good. And I'm gonna stir that pasta real quick. I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot, but I do want it to absorb and get a little thicker, a little fatter. So it has more room to absorb the cheese sauce. And you guys heard my oven go off. Normally, when I do these ribs, I will put them in the oven at 275 degrees, let them sit in there anywhere from three to four hours, depending on how big the ribs are. But, saying as though it is late tonight, I have the oven at 350. 350? So, we are gonna speed this cooking time up a little bit. And all I'm doing right now is just closing it because I want to trap all the steam in there mm -hmm. and let all the, the steam and the juices cook into the meat. I don't want it to spill out nowhere. That's right, that's right. Keep the juices in there. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. That's what it is. Y'all heard Drake's new album, Scorcher? I love it. No. That's dope. Yeah. I read some comments about yeah. it on social media today. I won't repeat those. <laughs> of course, you're going to have your haters. I, I'm a Drake fan. I don't care what nobody's saying. Oh, he just sing. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a singer, y'all, and producer, so I, I kind of like Drake. So I do apologize, I sing. I don't rap. I feel those because I saw that. But I'm going to be quiet on that. 
We got it wrapped up, sealed up pretty tight so the steam on the skate, it will cook these ribs real nice. Oh my gosh. These ribs heavy, y'all. I wasn't ready. A lot of meat on them. I wasn't ready Fresh for meat. pepper ribs. We'll slide those in, bottom rack. I will tell you how long, but because I'm cooking them at a higher temperature, I'm just gonna have to run with it tonight. Mm and see how it goes. And I possibly did absorb a little bit of the water and got a little thicker to make more room for the cheese sauce. And I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna make some dressing. Some dressing. So we have some White vinegar, mm -hmm. one tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoons by my eyeballs. Mmm, you know, it's good, those though. Lord Don't hate. It Don't might be about 500 teaspoons in there, y'all. I'm just You know who's gonna saying. eat it, though. You know who's gonna eat it. Of course. <laughs> and put about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And you got a little bit of salt here. Salt, a little dab. And sugar. You're supposed to go in with two tablespoons of sugar. Mm -mm. We finna watch this too. Black folks and sugar, y'all. You know how that work out. <laughs> sugar and anything. We we get a little heavy handed, y'all. Two. Yeah. That looks like about two yeah, tablespoons. She's a little to moderate, me. but you're, 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 you're a little yellow at the same time, so. You know. We gonna see. We gonna That's see. All right. I'll taste it in a minute, y'all. See how it is. And I'm gonna go in with about a cup of milk. Oh. And I did mean to bring my whisk over here. I forgot my whisk. Uh uh. I forgot the whisk. Can you hand me the whisk, sir? I think I can grab the whisk. Please. Quick. Whisk. I'm gonna grab the whisk. You gotta grab the whisk. See, you gotta write a song about everything. You gotta grab you know? the whisk, Mr. Michael. You gotta grab the whisk. Oh, you gotta grab. Mm -hmm. You gotta have to grab a whisk. Lord, have mercy. You gotta grab it. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice mm. and creamy, but I want some more vinegar mm. in there. So that my eyeballing wasn't good enough. She whipping the whipping. And if it's too tangy, mm -hmm. add some more sugar. Put more sugar in there. It's called balancing. Balancing your flavor. Oh, and make a note. Normally, I would use real mayonnaise. Today, on behalf of my friend, Brandon, the garbage disposal clerk, we are using Miracle Whip. Mm-hmm. This is for you. All for you. Let me see. We're going to stick a little finger in here. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's real good. I don't need no more sugar in there. That's nice. All right. So all I have to do now is manage to open these bags. <laughs> Y'all know my skills about opening bags. You know your strength level on opening bags. You see how that's working out, y'all? It ain't working quite well. This it's gonna be a mile. You know? uh, if y'all wanna go grab a Snickers, this will be the time to go do it. Ah, ha ha! Them getting smart. No. <laughs> smart, not hard. All this right. has been a perfect public service announcement from the Hobbs family. And all this is just pre-mixed coleslaw mix with green cabbage and carrots in there. So I wouldn't have to shred it all up myself. Remember, work smart. Now, huh. Unless you just want to be fancy. 
No, nobody got time for passing right now. <laughs> All right. We got that in there. We're going to switch out our spoon. And we're just going to mix it up here. And you want to give this time to marinate. You want to give it time to all come together. <clears throat> all this good old miracle whip I got in here for the disposal. I promised you a recipe, buddy, and here it is. You got about, what, a cup of miracle whip, about a half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of vinegar, white plain white vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. looking good y'all y'all should smell this mm. smell like kfc to me right exactly i was about to say it feel like kfc i was immediately looking for a biscuit <laughs> and some gravy and some mashed potatoes looking for the colonel somewhere all yeah. right Shoot, i'm looking for the captain look okay. in the captain and uh and what's higher than the colonel y'all is that it? I think that's it. I think that's how your I'm... wife, the president. How about that? <laughs> the president, we get the president, then the wife. I'm gonna stick some foil over the Sorry. top of this real quick because I know where my top for this bowl is, but I done already had to bend over one time, so y'all don't want to have to do it no more. Whoa, pause. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator, let it come together while we wait on everything else to get ready. And now we're going over here to this side, back to the pot we had the noodles in. Noodles. I almost couldn't close the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Let me get my. Knife in case you Whoa, wait a, a minute, flip. Mr. Jackson. That's he might want to get a little flippity. Man, flip. He got closer now. I know Michael Myron coming out soon. But you can wait. <laughs> can wait till the practice. No, nah, wait a minute. I, I forgot the purge come out on uh Wednesday. What the first purge? Oh, so why you didn't tell me that? You didn't, you didn't know that? Mm, no. The first purge. So they going back. You remember the purge started with the black guy running yep. up to them? So they going back to that. The wow. first original purge. Wow. And they got some neat, they got some black folks in this one, y'all. Uh-uh. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I do. <laughs> 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 y'all know what happened you. with black folks in scary movies that don't last too long. <laughs> I can tell you what's gonna happen. The running time that. for this feature is 30 minutes. Uh, you know, 30 minutes. What happened? Why was it so short? They had a black cash, you know, they died quick. <laughs> so special. <laughs> Woo! So Y'all excuse me here. I'm just washing off my whisk because I need to make a uh, bechamel sauce. A, bechamel? a cheese sauce, y'all. Okay. Well, I'm about to say, cheese wait a minute. Cheese for the macaroni bechamel. and cheese. Bechamel, that sounds like somebody back at home. Or... He's related to Dave Chappelle, though. You know. Oh, Lord. Yeah. That's your male. It's his third cousin from his mama's side. Mm. Yeah. Am I finished with my knife? I hope so. Might, like, you scared me with handy, that thing. Keep it handy around you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll turn that up a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm making a bachelor male sauce. Basically, all that is, and you're going to make a roux. I got half a stick of butter in here, <clears throat> which is about a quarter cup of butter. You wanna put a quarter cup of flour in there. Again, I'm eyeballing y'all. And I'm not gonna tell y'all, I only have on one contact right now. Mm. Just one. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure your measurements are correct. <laughs> like these are half right, love. These are, these are half right. I know what it's supposed to look like. Get in there. A little bit more flour. You can always add more, but you can't take none out. So if you're in, 
questioning anything, less is always more. All right, less is more, people. All right, we had a pretty good consistency. The butter is still melting down here. If y'all can see down here in the bottom of my pot, it's look, look, I don't know, like a thick gravy, thick, thick gravy. You don't want it the color you don't want it burned because you're using it for your macaroni and cheese this is the same base you would make if you were making gumbo instead you would stand here and do this for 30 minutes until it turns the color of a Hershey bar you just stand here and stand here and stand here and stir and stir no we're not making that kind of roux today I did take my milk out of the refrigerator beforehand to bring it to room temperature. We need some milk. Kyle is not here today. <laughs> she is in another city, or well, she was in another city. My daughter be in them screets, shouting. She them always screets. gone doing something. Screets. But mad when she missed a video though. But you know what? I think, thank goodness we are here so she can be around her nana so she can see her all the time instead of my mama having to drive seven hours. Go see her grandchildren. Now she can just go with nana. Bye. Yeah. Yes. Right? And it take me seven minutes to walk to her house. And if it take me seven minutes to take the average person about two. <laughs> She got a short stride, y'all. You should see the stride hey. she got. This. I, I move you and I groove. Legs. They ain't gonna move that far. I move know. and I groove, y'all. Yeah. A little short leg and knock knee. That's, that's a little bad combination. <laughs> I move and I groove. Y'all like my shirt? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. For the disposal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got Wayne Wonder down here. Uh -huh. Wayne. Wayne out here, y'all. What am I looking for? I Pepper. don't know. That's what did I do with the salt? I don't know. I thought salt and oh. pepper broke up. Never mind. No, they they back together. They Can went to Fam you the other week. I saw the concert on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know oh yeah. There was a live. concert at Fam Yeah, you know how Can people that go little live. side change. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's right. That, no, that was salt. Salt the light skin. Yeah. Oh okay. Salt got religious and stuff. You got what? Religious. What's that? Religious. Oh, religious. Yeah, religious. She, she got religious, oh. so she didn't want to do a lot of the songs that they used to do. Oh, bump that. You better hear me or well, whatever the... Shoot, um, baby. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You better do it. Make you that I money. Can, I can open this milk without getting it on with me this time. Watch out. Look at that. Look at that. I did it. I did it. That was luck, y'all. That was luck. Just, just because the camera's on. No, the camera was on the last time and it just shot all over me everywhere. I was wearing the milk. All right. All right, we're going to start adding some cheese here. Shark cheddar cheese left over. You want to know what it's left from? Uh oh, we got a visitor, y'all. That's my baby boo right there. That Coco in the bin. That's yeah. Coco, that's the one that takes up all the room at the bottom of the bed where I sleep. And leave room for all the little short people. I ain't gonna say no names, Brandon Hawes V33. Hey, she know better than sleep on my side. She's gonna get a kick. <laughs> Boom. Get out. Get out of my side of the bed. Nah, she be in my she she be on my side of the bed in between my legs, just Post it, taking up all the room. So don't don't think she the only one. Kobe, Kobe and Jack Cheese Kobe. going in. And we whipping the whipping the whip, whipping the whipping the whip off. Mama. And this is your bechamel sauce, y'all. I told you it's easy. Flour, yeah. butter, cheese, and milk. There is nothing hard about what I do. Most of the stuff is just time consuming. Mm -hmm. Like those ribs that I'm cooking now, I would literally cook those for three to four hours. But I don't even know what time it is right now, but I'm sure it's like eight, nine something-ish. 
somewhere around in there. Maybe if we hit the actual. Aha! Look at that. Touch it, but y'all see how they came? It's almost no, 9 30. It's almost 9 30, y'all. 9.30 at night and she just cooking, y'all. But you know what? It's Friday, dog. We turning up, dog. You so silly. Eat late. Ooh, that's nice and thick. That's nice and thick. It's how I like Look it. Look at Ooh. that. It's running down like ribbons. Ooh. That is ready. Turn it off because it's going to start popping. This hot cheese pop on you. You might as well have some hot grits. It's going to be the same thing. You better ask Al Green about that. You don't want none of that in your life. Mm. I thought you said good or bad. Happy or sad. Did I get cheese on you? Are you that's mm -hmm. why you're looking at your shirt. Yeah, you, you swung a little bit over here. <laughs> you totally gave the, um, the morning advisor and then committed the dog on crime right behind. Ain't that something? Okay. Don't get none of this cheese on your shirt. I do what I do when I can do it. You know what I mean? Ooh, how cheesy that is, y'all. Cheesy. That ain't that, uh... That's that other stuff. You got to make your cheese sauce, man. You got to get that consistency. Got to be gooey as Kyla likes. Yeah, that's Kyla word. It's gooey. She was eating them gooey chicken bones last night. She wasn't playing. I thought we were going to have uh, Royal Rumble number whatever up in here. Hey. Her, her daddy got to fighting over them bones. Hey, them bones be good. Uh, Y'all ever had pull the pull the uh, chicken off the bone? You got them bones up there? Got chicken still on there? We can't let that go to waste. Come on now. She know better. I got too much trash over here. This bothers me, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm a little OCD-ish when it comes to trash. Excuse my back one you more. You little OCD. You a little C-R-A-Z-Y. Don't hate. Don't hate. I need a little order in my life. All right. Now we gonna pretend that all of this is gonna fit into this pan because why i said so oh we dumping we dumping we dumping oh i don't want to touch that pan because it's hot you need you got it Maybe. you always want to ask at the end of something hey you know at least i offer don't worry i'll leave the dishes for you i know you do that anyway whatever Oh Y'all ain't finished with this yet. I'm not finished. No, I'm not. I'm finished with this pot though. <clears throat> Sit that pot to the side. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Mo cheese. <laughs> you got to have mo cheese, mo cheese, and mo cheese. I ain't got more money, so we might as well have mo cheese. How about that? Mm. So we had the cheese sauce. Now, y'all, we're adding now. Triple cheddar. You got the white cheddar, sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar blend. Triple blended. cheese with the extra In butter. Here. Triple cheese. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top. You know, as if it wasn't enough in there already, you know. Yeah, y'all. Ooh, put it in there first. Ooh. Ooh. If y'all lactose intolerant, don't try this recipe. They find fireworks out the door, y'all. It's time to turn up. I told y'all. Yeah, it's Friday, and they, they do stuff like this when the holidays come around in our parts of the neck of the woods. And there ain't no police coming out here either. Nope. <laughs> They'll so be doing this all night long. Nobody bothering. That's what you do. You invest, save up, and stay in a decent, nice neighborhood. Shoot. You do what you can do and make the best of it. That's true. All right. We got this done. What do we need to do with it? Um, put it in the oven. Maybe. We need to bake it. Woo! Good God Almighty. Mm. Got I them wish wraps y'all could smell huh? got these them wraps. wraps. I wish y'all could smell them. I'm going to leave this on 350. Mm. And all I'm doing with the macaroni and cheese is just letting that cheese on top brown. Let, uh, 
melt and let everything come together. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and I will be back with you in just a moment. What's up guys? I am back and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I have been on live with Brandon the Garbage Disposal Clark. I had to put him on pause for a minute <laughs> because we have our macaroni and cheese. It is done. The ribs, they are they are cooked. They are already pulling up from the bone. The only thing I'm going to do now is put them back in the oven. I'm going to baste them a little bit and um, put them under the broiler. So it'll get a nice little crisp on top. And see, these are all the juices that came out of the ribs. And the ribs steamed real nice. And once we let them broil for a few minutes, it'll almost be like they came off the grill. They'll have a nice char on there. Of course, you don't get your smoke flavor because I don't use liquid smoke. I'm afraid of liquid smoke. It could be a little too heavy for me. But I do barbecue on the grill. Yes, she does. So do I, y'all. Now, that's why I get down there, y'all. That's why I get down there. Y'all wait on that to happen, okay? I'll wait on it, too. I'll tell you what. If you want B33 to get on the grill, make sure you comment below, man. Say B33, get on that grill. Yeah. Please. Please. All right. And I think that was mm. what? About an hour. No. No, that was over an hour that I had them in there. Yep. And I have turned the broiler on already. So I'm going to put them back in there so we can get some little color going and a little texture. I don't understand how good this smells and these macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese and the coleslaw is in the refrigerator. He had a little sample of that. Oh yeah, it was dope. It thought it was pretty good. So, I'm gonna let these broil up real fast. I'm gonna get back on live with Brandon, the garbage disposal clerk who just reached 5,000 subscribers and he's doing it special tonight and I'm so proud of him. Hence my shirt, don't hate Wayne Wonder, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, we are back. The ribs have been under the broil. I left them to broil for about five to six minutes. It didn't take long at all for it to get some texture on top. And here's your plate. You got a little texture here. You got your coleslaw and your mac and cheese. Woo! Y'all ready? ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you once again for sticking with me and watching the channel. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, smooches. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. For all notifications, please hit the notification bell. So whenever we upload a new video, you will know first. Thank you, guys.